we're heading into Valentine's Day season and so heart rocks of course are very easy and fun to make but they're not just for Valentine's Day you can put heart rocks out and about um, as kind of kindness rocks all year long. Um, so I like to write, you are loved on the center of mine because I feel like that's very universal message that people should hear. Um, and so we're doing this fun, simple scallop style edge uh, heart rock, but we're going right on the rock. See, if you notice, we didn't color um, the heart itself in. So I'm showing a little trick to get a nice heart shape on your rock without too much uh, Effort. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do. And you can subscribe at any time of our videos in the bottom right hand corner um, to the channel. Okay, so we're doing this super simple heart today, but leaving the rock exposed on the inside can be a little bit tricky for some people um, to draw a really good heart first try right on your rock. Yes, you could come in with pencil and do it and erase, but sometimes erasing on rocks, it doesn't go over so well. Um, if you are gonna do that, I suggest a white eraser. Um, one of my tricks that I've used in the past and I haven't in a while, um, is to use post-it notes. So if you take a post-it note and fold it in half so the sticky's stuck to the sticky side, like so, I'm much better at creating a heart when I'm doing the old school, you know, just a little cut out like that. Now I wanna make sure that I have the sticky part in my heart. So you could draw it on if you need to. I can freehand these, but look at, see, so if you place this on your rock though, you can size it out a little bit. Like I want to have decoration around my heart. So I don't want my heart to be huge. I want it to be um, right here, kind of in the center of my rock, but I want space to make my little scallops. As long as you get the tip of your heart down into that sticky spot, it will help for when you are, um, tracing it. So we'll cut this out real quick. That pen looked really wet. I could smear it. And again, if you can just cut this without tracing, that's fine too. Just wanted to kind of show you. All right, so then you unfold it and you're going to have that sticky spot. So just make sure you peel it apart. And then you're going to use that sticky and hold your heart in place. Now it's not gonna keep it 100%, you're still gonna have to hold on to it, but it keeps it from sliding around and things like that. So I'm just gonna take my 1M and I am going to trace my heart here. And this will just give you a good Starting point. Whoop, I kind of swooped down. It went downhill on me. It's okay. I'm still going to have a decent looking heart here when we're, when we're ready to go. All right. Good enough. All right. So once we have our heart on here, we're going to make our scalloped edge that's going to go around the heart. Now, to me, the weirdest spot in this whole design is when you get to the tip up here. So just make sure you I like to kind of start in that area and I have one go off to one side and then the other one starts up here and kind of goes in the other direction. It's just a, an awkward spot to work with. But once you have that, we're just going to create these little scallops all the way around our heart. And when I get about halfway down on the side here, I'm going to stop. and kind of take a look at one, if you visually look at it, you can kind of gauge the size because you can make these a little bit wider or a couple a little bit thinner, but I want to end with one right like that. So if I need to get two in here, I can just like that. So it's the same thing on the other side. I'll speed this part up. So once you finish your scalloped edges, you can kind of come along here and make sure, like right here, I went past my black line. So I want the inside line to be nice and clean and we can fill up to the line with our color. And that's what we're gonna do. So see right here, so I just want that inside line to be clean. These things can be kind of touched up at the end too, but if you do it before you fill in, 
you can just fill further into the scallop with your color. Okay. There we go. So now I'm just going to take my larger pens. I love these colors. These are from, I'll, I'll find the set and leave it below. It had like a navy blue and like a, um, like a camouflage, like green. I can't think of the right name for that. Like an army green. They're really cool colors. Okay. So I'm going to start by just doing dots in each of the ones. I'm going to go uh, pink or fuchsia. It's kind of like a fuchsia color like that. Then we'll do white, red, white. So then this one will be pink, white, red, white, pink. I'm going to go that far on each side and then we're going to figure out how the top is going to go because this will be white, red, white, pink, white, red, white, pink. So sometimes when I'm doing stuff like this, I like to look ahead a little bit just so that I can kind of figure out where I'm going to land. So as of now, we would have white, red, white, pink, white, red, white, pink, white, red, white, pink, white, red, white. So that works. Okay, perfect. So. So pink, white, red, white, pink, white, red, white, pink, white, red, white, pink. Look at that, white, red, white. Now, if it didn't match up, I would just make sure that I, I shifted it somewhere. I could take a white out on each side. I just didn't want to end up with two pinks right next to each other at the tip there. So um, you heard me saying my pattern. I'm doing white on either side of um, the pink and red to kind of keep them separate. I did choose a stone that wasn't white, white in color so that this color, you know, the white actually shows up on it. Um, so I'm going to fill these in, in the, that pattern. I'll show you one section of the pattern here. This red, and this is like a really deep, beautiful red. It's dark red is what it's called, but I like this one a lot. Okay. So I have red here. So I just did a small little portion of the pattern. I'll pull it up so you can kind of see. So I'm just doing that along the side. So I'll do that around the rest of the rock. And we'll be back. Okay, so as you're finishing up, make sure you fill these dots in nice and full because we are going to crisp all of the black lines at the end. So don't worry about getting too close to the edge or too close to each other. Obviously, you don't want them to touch and blend, but just get them nice and full so that when we come back with our black lining at the end, it really makes everything nice and crisp and the colors will really pop. Um, now, in the center of this rock, you could write whatever you want. You could do a name, you could do a date. Um, you could do lots of different things, really. Uh, for this one, I'm planning on hiding it, so I wanna put a nice little message that's um, not necessarily universal, but I guess universal for a rock to be found. So I want to write, you are loved. That's kind of what I've been writing on a lot of my heart rocks that I hide around town. So I do want to write one time the word loved, nice and kind of small, make sure I'm still in the page here, so that I can gauge about where on that heart I'm gonna to need to be, to be able to pull off the width. Because I can make you are pretty small at the top, but see, loved. I'm gonna have to be pretty close to the middle. So just kind of testing out your quick little writing down here um, can help. Now, if I do something that's not cursive, maybe I can squeeze it in a little bit more. Um, I could maybe do more of a, a taller letter to get to fit further down. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just go ahead and use this. So I'm looking right about here. And I can write you are at the top. Here. 
you are loved. Beautiful message that anybody would like to find. We'll color in that heart with one of our outside colors. So now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna redo the inside line of my heart. And then I'm gonna also redo the little scallop lines all the way through. I'll take my time with that and you'll see the finished rock in the pictures at the end. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Feel free to share these into your local rock painting groups and stuff as well. Um, simple inspiration always makes people excited. So have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.